Um, this is going to be what I crocheted in April. So it actually is a lot more than I thought it was uh, when I went to go and pull everything. And I made TikToks for the first half. Um, and I'm still gonna include that. Sorry, I'm still gonna include that stuff in this one. I was nesting yesterday and going through all my daughter's little clothes, so I'm stuffy because I'm very allergic to dust. So let me start with what I put in those TikToks first. So um, these are ones that are gonna go in my discount bin. Um, I was trying to make an otter pattern and I just don't like, um, you know, how big the head turned out on this one. I think it needed to be a little bit higher. So I changed it actually, and I'll show you the difference. This is the one I landed on. I think this one's way cuter but it's still not my favorite otter pattern, so I'm gonna keep um, trying. And, uh, oh. but I did like that. So I've made, that's what, one pattern so far this month. This panda, I did not even try to redo and finish, even though the only thing wrong with it really is just how far apart the eyes are. It's very wonky looking and it kind of blends in with the ears and I don't like that. Um, so I might just not even do this and try to do, um, make it part of the pattern, but, uh, you know, like while I'm crocheting it, but I'm not sure yet. I think it might just be too small to do that. So I might just have to make this bigger. I made another design for bear. I like a lot better. It's a lot bigger. I think would lend itself to a panda, like so much more. So I'm going to put that in the bin. I like all of these pretty equally. These are the other egg patterns I came up with this month. It's not bad, so that's two patterns so far, but I don't really count one of those, but I'm still gonna say two. Um, sloth, now the eyes are far apart on this one, but it's really cute and very sloth-like, so I don't care. I made it in blue because it's a test, and I don't really have a lot of natural colors right now because I'm trying to bust my stash. So I'm hoping a blue sloth will sell because these aren't gonna be super expensive. Um, this one's one of my favorites, bat. Now this one has a little bit more like holes in it because I think I use like cotton yarn and I don't like cotton yarn. I just don't. Um, it just like does not look as good. It doesn't blend very well. And I use the exact same size hook and it's a thicker yarn than the <laughs> worst weight yarn that I'm using. So I'm like, it doesn't, it does not add up. I've had this one for years. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of it all the mushrooms I made this month. Seal. Now this one I love. I think it's really cute. I probably won't sell very many of them until Christmas, but I think this one would be perfect to bring for like Christmas keychains and stuff like that. Um, and maybe just have like one or two at each fair because people do like seals a lot. It's really cute. Like I love it. And then I've got a bunny. Now this one I do like this. I've made a bunny and I didn't like it. Um, the ears were like pointy up, pointing up, hated it. These ears, however, got a little bunny tail. I learned how to do a bobble stitch properly this month. A wabbit, a rascally wabbit, monkey. I love this design. It's one of my favorite designs from this month. This is probably one I'll make in a bunch of different colors. But I'm gonna take these to a market and see how they do and like which ones sell, but I'll bring a couple of each and they'll just be like a good um, bin for people to go through that are kind of cheap, under $10. So I like this one a lot. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I did two of this free dinosaur pattern that I've seen a bunch of people do. I don't think mine are as cute as other people's, I'm gonna be honest. It's like cute, but it's not giving dinosaur to me. So, these are probably gonna be the only two I make. And I've really gotta find like good dinosaur patterns or make my own because like dinosaurs do so well and I wanna have something that's very like, obviously little girls can play with dinosaurs, but a lot of the stuff I make little girls would love and I don't think a ton of them little boys would love. So I wanna have something that is for like a whole range of little kids. Oh, this is the other one that was in my wonky bin and it is really cute. Um, I, I will say that. I do French knots as the spots on my mushrooms because I think they look better. 
and I love the blush. It's so cute. It is cute, but it just like does not fit with my regular pattern. I think I like this one better and it's less time consuming. I just like this one better, but they're both really cute. But this one's gonna go on the discount bin. It's not gonna be like crazy discounted, but man, I just rough house that man. And then I did one with blush, one without. Um, they're dating. They're holding hands when they're dating. Um, grumpy frog, happy frog keychains. I love these. This is somebody else's pattern. I'm going to be putting whose pattern I'm using in the description um, and on screen. So just like just their username and what website I got it from or what websites I know that they use. I'm pretty sure this one is Crafter Frog, which I love their patterns. They have really cute fruit patterns, uh, which is also the dinosaur's Crafter Frog. And it is very cute, but I don't think I'm good at making it. So these ones I figured out. Um, there was a learning curve. I undid my first try, but I love them. And everyone I've shown them to is like, oh my god. This one is another one that's free. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this one. I did the little bow on it. It's so cute. My sister wants this one for her birthday, which is in like a week. I'm gonna let her come and raid my stash for market prep for birthday presents. But I'm gonna make a bunch more of these because I feel like these definitely will sell. They're cute. They'll be cheap. It's something like... I mean, come on. If somebody if, if somebody bought you this, you wouldn't be like, are you kidding me? Oh. I'm just like manhandling them. I feel bad for them. Um, this is a little turtle design I made. I don't like it. <laughs> if I'm honest, I did different green on the bottom. Did all the little legs. Took way too long. It's not worth the price it would cost to manufacture these. So I'm not gonna do it, but it is very cute and I'm gonna put them with the regular keychains and sell them at like a normal price. I'm not gonna charge people for uh, the learning process, but it is cute. I need to find better turtle prop. Uh, I need to find better turtle patterns. I see a lot of people use some. I'm trying not to buy one. I'm trying to like make up my own so that possibly I could sell one. Um, but this was just way too little. So maybe I need to start bigger and then miniaturize it uh, from there. I've been really tired and I didn't make another video this month because I've been nesting like crazy getting ready for the baby and I have been so 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 exhausted and I just couldn't uh, until I got like 13 hours of sleep this weekend when my husband was home. I, I couldn't uh, stay awake for three hours after I was waking up like I was having to take a nap or two every day and I just was getting no REM sleep, so I'm surprised I got as much done as I did on that mentality. And I feel like I could do a lot better. And I usually do more pattern designing. Whales, I think this one is a free pattern. If it is, I'll let you know. I can't remember if I did this one myself or if somebody else did it. I think I used somebody else's pattern. <laughs> I did three of these, two blue, one pink. Pretty dang cute. This one I did yarn blush because the color's too dark, it wouldn't look bad, but love it. I love the whales. I need to do bigger whales because I know a lot of people say that whales sell super well. So I've got Octos. Now this is my pattern for Octos, I believe. It's like adjusted from several people's patterns. This one's the littlest and the cutest. But um, it just depends on what yarn I'm using. But I love them. Some of them have mouths. And some do not. But I love them. This little blue one is so cute. Everybody loves this one specifically. So I feel like I should use like the Caron's Silky Soft yarn for these. In the future when I buy yarn. But I'm not buying yarn. I'm using like my stash up. Because... I cannot justify buying new trendy yarn like blanket yarn until I use up my stash. Like if y'all saw my stash, guilty. <sighs> okay, I think I'll do, um, this is one I was making. I think I showed this one in the video. A makeup bag? No, I don't, I think this one's gonna take too long. It took like three hours to make. 
So I think it's gonna be too expensive to sell at craft fairs, but I'm still gonna finish it and bring it and see if it does well. And if it does not do well and never sells, like it's at least an eye catcher, but if it doesn't sell, I'll probably give it to like as a gift to somebody within a year. Um, but I found a pattern on Pinterest and I adjusted it and did my own tapestry crochet. And then I got a black zipper and I'm gonna add that on. So this is a whip. I'm hopefully gonna finish that this month. But I wrote down the pattern. And the tapestry pattern is what, just one I got from Pinterest. So if you're interested, it's just a sit sprite. Um, but so cute, I love. It's gonna be very cute when it's done. And then let me show you some of these real quick. This is an adjusted gingham tote bag from the last time I was pregnant, two years ago. I went through and found my old pattern and readjusted just to make a small one, see how long it took. I don't remember how long this one took. It's kind of expensive though. Like it took either two or three hours, which is like, if it's two hours, I could do this. But three hours, I don't know if somebody would pay more than $30 for this. You know what I mean? It's kind of small. So, and it's not even lined. I was hoping to add a liner and I was like, adding a liner would take up so much time that it would chart make this cost so much. So I think I'm just gonna not do a liner and sell it as is. Then I've got this one, which I also wanted to do these in tote bags, but it takes three hours for this alone. And I haven't even done the other side. So I was like, this one like perhaps people would pay over $30 for, cause I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna charge in an hour, but it's gonna be minimum 10. So three hours is at least $30 and then the back side would probably take at least two hours plus the straps. So it'd be at least 60. I don't know if anybody would pay that. So I'm thinking about just turning this into a uh, tapestry because I think that would sell better and then I could sell that for around $30 and it would definitely sell at that, I think, um, especially around Halloween. So I think so. So these two were in my TikTok, if you saw that, but these are my large pattern B. So cute in the yellow and the brown. Like literally I'm obsessed. This is my own B pattern that I adjusted in all these different sizes so I can have different size ranges and like, they just look cute all, to, all different sizes. I wanna see what size sells for what prices and like what people are willing to pay. Um, and there won't be like huge price differences really to be honest cause they're, they, each size up takes like 20 to 25 minutes and it, the bigger it gets obviously the more time it takes but i've got this is the large i've only made two of those i'm not gonna make a huge humongous amount of the large bees i have a bunch of small and medium ones that i made last month that i didn't make a video on but i mean i could probably try if anybody's interested in me making a what i made in um, march video but like this is the size difference i feel like these would just be so cute um, these ones will be like individually priced probably and just like used as decoration or to fill shelves. So um, now we're gonna start on the mushrooms. This is the first one I made and I used a smaller hook size which is why it's smaller than all of the rest of the guys. Uh, see, hook size is crazy. And I also just don't like using 3.5 with worsted weight yarn. It's not my favorite at all. I did two reds. I did this, um, I have this like brindle almost, so I didn't do the French knots on this one because it would be pointless. Um, I did two of those in medium, or sorry, one of those in medium in this color. So I don't know how popular this will be, but these are like in my scrap bin, like really small yarn balls. So I did two of the gray because I thought that it was cuter in the gray of the medium mushrooms. I did two purples, which actually look cute. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about purple, but I think this purple is like nice. Some people really love purple, so this could potentially do really well, and especially closer to Halloween, purple is more popular. And then I've got one pink. I'll probably do another pink because, I mean, everybody loves pink, and I might do like a light blue mushroom, but I feel like, look, 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 so cute. I love it. And then two blue. And I don't know exactly how many that is, it's quite a lot. 
I think it's nine of the medium mushrooms. And I think those will probably sell the best because they're gonna be the smallest price point. But then I did large mushrooms for, you do that knitting needle hack. I saw somebody do that. You can like spread them across while I'm using one hand. But I did it and I love the green. I bought more green because I was like, I'm so tired of not making stuff in green because I just used up all my green yarn for a blanket for my mom. And I have some green, but I'm gonna use it for her as well. I'm trying to do this market prepping uh, before my son comes so that I have like a ton of stuff for market prep and like designs so that if my brain isn't working as good on designing stuff when he does come, I have a bunch of patterns I can use that I don't have to use like a ton of brain power. I can just follow them. So that's why I'm designing just a ton instead of just like bulk making a bunch of stuff. The little ones are easy to bulk make. I can make those in like a couple days. Um, but like, these are so cute. I love them in all the different colors. I think they'll be really fun to look at. So these are the extra large. Hold on. The extra large ones we go red i had to make red in every color like i don't care it's so cute in the red i want to make some in brown um i don't know if i should do spots on the brown ones i don't know but i really wanted to make a yellow one and i think it's cute this is a pale yellow i think a brighter yellow might look better but the pale yellow is really cute kind of cottage core this is like all from one person's pattern like the the small one is somebody's pattern i think so, I think it's this one, and I'll put whose pattern it is, and um, I just sized up and down from their pattern and adjusted it so I can make them in different sizes, because I'm using worsted weight and I don't, I cannot justify buying any more yarn. I just cannot. Um, but I love these. So the basket, you can finally see the basket's getting full. So this is Jumbo. Like a look at him. Oh my god, they, the motherly instinct just sets off when the eyes get baby. They're just so big and baby. Like, I love this pattern. I had to make it in all these different sizes. Because um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a craft fair until the fall. So I think these will sell really well in the fall. And then this one's mega. That mega pattern I made. The <laughs> mushroom. He's so fat. And I love him. I feel like this one's so cute. They don't like. I needed some bigger ticket items, so I'm working on that because I was like, I got these, the wire grid shelves that I need to fill with like actual stuffed animals. I have a lot of like baskets to put on the bottom, and I can fill those really easily, but I need to just make like several big ticket items that I can sell as well because. I know there's like a lot of grandparents and parents that want to go through and buy their kids stuff so this is the Godzilla pattern that's what I call the biggest one I'm gonna make I think I might have to make one bigger but I don't know what to call it um, I might have to adjust like which one they call because I think Godzilla is really funny it's the last size but I've been writing down all my patterns just so cute with the little I'm just staring at I'm like oh my god and I use like blush on them I use color pop blush which is a vegan brand um, because I prefer that over the like yarn on there um, and then you could also replace it if you wanted to um, I don't know if I should mix a bunch without blush because I feel like the blush really sets it off but this one in a size I might adjust this pattern but I think it's really cute like just kind of like a ball squishing love look how big the box is getting and then this is the last one I made in April I made this one a couple days ago it's so my own pattern I'm probably gonna release this one I have a couple mutuals um, inter not a couple I have one I don't know why I'm exaggerating I have one mutual interested in uh, pattern testing and I don't know how to use Ribbler and I think they said something about like uh, testers call or something like that so I'm gonna be looking into that this month and trying but this is the first time I made him I want to try him in a different like starting multiple and see which one I like better 
but he's really cute. I just don't want, um, I know with multiples of six that people sometimes get pointy heads and I don't want when somebody's making my pattern to get a pointy head. And I don't think they will, but I think if I adjust it to a different multiple, it would work. It's also the nicest ribbon I've ever tied in my life. I'm gonna sew like a little, just like safety thread on there so that it stays in place. But I love it so much. I went and bought a bunch of ribbon, like five different ribbons for different sizes and colors. I bought green specifically for him because I was like, green is your color, my boy. This is a brown that I really didn't like until I used it on him because it has like almost green tone, green undertones but he looks so good with the green ribbon and like this is like the piece that's gotten most attention in a while since uh, my heart tapestry I did last month and I love him I can't blame anybody for that his little tail I feel like these would sell they're pretty universal I'm very influenced by like um, Amy Gurumi like genuine Amy Gurumi like the uh, Japanese or even like Vietnamese patterns are really cool and I want to learn how to read Vietnamese crochet patterns because there's some really really cute free patterns um, and I think it's funny how I'm on like Russian crochet talk Spanish crochet talk Japanese like really into Vietnamese crochet talk because I like follow several accounts that are I guess in Vietnamese and I had to ask my um, Instagram followers what the hell the language was and like six people were like you're right that's Vietnamese so I'm hoping and praying it's Vietnamese and not Thai because none of them seemed like they spoke Vietnamese but they could like decipher it because they eat at Vietnamese restaurants and they might have like family members I know one girl is Vietnamese she just does not speak but um so I'm hoping that that's right and I'm gonna try and if I learn I'll make a video about that so I can help y'all translate but I just love this one um, and then the last one I worked on I did not get finished because now it's May 1st um, so I was really hoping to get this one into the April video but I made that same body but little little uh, so this is the large pattern this will be medium I'm gonna make them smaller and probably one bigger um, this is gonna be bunny I which is why it doesn't have the snout I'm gonna I already made the arm pattern. I made one arm this morning. I'm gonna do the other arm, do the ear pattern and a tail and the ribbon. Um, I'm thinking because this one's pink, it'd be really cute to do like a little like leaf sprout on the top of its head or a flower or something. Um, but I need to figure out how to make a flower that stands up that's squishy because I don't want to put wires in my toys because I want kids to be able to grab them. So. I don't know. I was so glad I noticed on this one because I stuffed both the legs, that's how I started, and then it <laughs> didn't, uh, when I, I finished sewing the head on, I went to check the legs and it was like completely flat. So I had to undo the head and fix the stuffing and now it looks good. And now I see like one hole from where I'm learning to join the legs. I saw somebody teach that on a doll YouTube, make a doll making amigurumi. So if you can see that, I gotta go fix that one little stitch. But I have this extra thread from the head that I'm gonna sew on the arm with, and I'll go fix that. And I'll do the other arm and the ears. And so I, I think I can finish this one today. I think so. So. I also really want to thank you guys for following me. I hit my first 10 subscribers um, and I haven't posted in three weeks and that made me feel really bad. So uh, I'm gonna make sure I post and try to make a couple videos to back up so that I post at least once a month um, for the next couple months as I have my baby. But I love them. The bear, I'm obsessed with. My daughter loves it, she keeps grabbing for it, and like every time I give it to her, she gasps. She fell asleep with it in her arms last night, and I was like, so cute. And my husband loves it. Um, so I think this is a great pattern to start with, and I really wanna be a pattern designer. So I think I'm gonna keep going, and I can make this into so many different animals, which is the body base, so um, yeah.
thank you so much for watching if you did um i really appreciate your view and your likes and um you guys subscribing like the support is so so sweet and um for me just starting like what two months ago and i've gotten like a good amount of followers almost at 150 followers on tiktok and then i'm at 10 followers already and i've only made one video and i had the ugliest thumbnail for like the majority of the time and then i figured out how to use canva and now the thumbnail is so cute so i'm hoping to do a really cute thumbnail with this one and i could i'm also thinking about like turning my patterns into little booklets i could sell at the market so i think i'm gonna do that um i'm also gonna do um mystery bags soon I'm so prepped to do mystery bags and I've been working on the patterns for those so I want to make my own patterns like these so I can include those in the mystery bags uh, when I do them for like certain price points but anyways again sorry for rambling um thank you so much for the support and anybody that watches my video uh, I very much appreciate it and I'm so thankful um, so I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching if you watched all the way to the end or at all.